Hey guys, it's your girl T and I want to go ahead and shout out Irene Jalenti. Irene and several people have been sending me this story. It's gone viral. It has to do with the, the Django actress or Django as people like to say it or as it's really called. But I say the Django. Anyways, the actress from that movie, her name is Danielle Watts. And basically she ran to the media saying that um, her and her boyfriend were racially profiled. Her boyfriend is Chef Brian Lucas. She's saying that they were coming out of the CBS studios in Studio City, California. And basically what she's saying is that her and her boyfriend were kissing and somebody just caught the cops on them and the police were harassing them. And her boyfriend took some video footage and it was like a 15 second Vine clip. And folks wanted, you know, the police's heads on a platter. This is racism. This is not fair. They're uncomfortable with interracial dating, blah, blah, blah. So a lot of folks wanted to know my opinion. I didn't want to speak on anything until all the details came out. I guess for me, I'm getting tired of the whole racial debate in the country. I'm getting tired of people saying one thing, and then when the evidence comes out, then all of a sudden it's a whole other thing. And after the whole Mike Brown situation, I said, let me just go ahead and fall back and just see what happens. Well, as of this morning, Daniel Thorne, shout out to you, he sent me an update. Since the police were getting threatened and cussed out, and the police department was getting you know numerous phone calls about this story, they decided to release the audio because the police had also videotaped the situation. I don't know if they have cameras on them. But in the audio, you, you hear this girl Danielle screaming and cursing, being belligerent. She's talking about she's on the phone with her father. She's refusing to give up information. You know, her boyfriend is calm. He's giving the police everything that they need. And, you know, a lot just bothered me with this tape. One, the fact that she tried to make this into a whole race issue. And even the cop told her, I'm not making this into a race issue. We just need to know who you are. Anytime police get called to a scene, regardless if there's a crime being committed or not, if the police call, the, if the police are called and they come to your vicinity and you're there, they're going to ask for ID. It's not like she was just randomly walking down the street and he tried to ask her for ID. You know what I'm saying? The police were called on her. And from all the witnesses' reports, they're saying that her and her boyfriend were having sex in the car. Um, they had the car door open. They were literally giving people a show. But then once the police were called, now she wants to get upset. Now she wants to get embarrassed so I'm just kind of really mad that she tried to turn this into a bigger issue all she had to do was show them her ID and then everything could have been resolved but the fact that her and her boyfriend tried to turn this into a whole oh they're not supporting us they're harassing us because we're an interracial couple no they're harassing you because your girlfriend is a loud mouth idiot Okay, and instead of her having respect for herself, she decides to sit outside in a car and start making out with her boyfriend and giving him head and everything else. I just think it's disgusting. So instead of her getting her Django on, she was getting her whole Django on, literally. You know, and I just find it sad that a lot of folks were running with this before they knew the full extent of the story. You know, a lot of folks were saying that the person who called 911 or who caught the police, they were filing false police reports. It was racism and everything else. But like I said, other witnesses have come forward and said that these two were blatantly having sex and they were just being, you know, they were just doing a little bit too much. And, and you know, there's nothing wrong with getting freaky with your man and doing little things. But, you know, have respect for yourself. Go behind the building. Don't make it a show in front of other people. And especially in Studio City. Like, Studio City is more, you know, reserved. It's a really classy area for the most part. So I'm kind of surprised that she thought it would be okay to take it there with her boyfriend. You know, but I'm just kind of disgusted at the story how it turned into a whole race debate. My thing is, there's real racism going on in the country. There's real police brutality. You have, you know, young men out here getting shot at Walmart by the police. You have other young men getting shot on the streets by the police who weren't doing anything. So for her to try and turn this into a whole race debate because she was supposedly making out with her boyfriend, I don't really respect that. All she had to do was show them the ID, explain the situation, and she could have been on her way. So I want you guys to go ahead and listen to these 911 tapes or the police tapes that they um, sent to TMZ. Um, there's about four pages. The tapes are about two minutes long. But I want you guys to listen to them and see how different it is here Listen to her as opposed to what she and her boyfriend wrote online and as opposed to that 15 second Vine clip. So go ahead, check out the videos. Leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. Do you feel like the police were in the wrong and that it was racism? Or do you feel like this woman and her boyfriend are reaching and looking for attention? So let me know your thoughts. All right. Deuces.